I just wanted to go over how I go about uh, creating letters and text inside of Modo. Obviously you have uh, your text tool, but as you know that always uh, that always poses lots of problems when you just throw text in and try to try to do things to it. If I if I just uh, use the edge extend tool by pressing Z, you'll notice for one it didn't create uh, the back of the letter, and even if I were to select the edges and press P to fill it in, you notice that it also filled in the middle of the A. That's because the geometry is, well, basically one polygon right here, and that obviously doesn't work. So what you need to do is create multiple uh, pieces of geometry to make up your letter. Also, you notice, I'll go ahead and undo that, um, if I try and subdivide it, or if I toggle the subdivision, it completely folds in on itself, which is to be expected. So this is how I make text and or letters or whatever, anything inside of Modo. Um, basically, I, I would start with the text tool, and I would just use this as a reference for creating letters atop of this. So what I'm going to do, uh, and especially for this letter, is uh, go ahead and center select it on the X. That way we know what's in the middle. I'm going to create a new mesh. And then in that new mesh, I'm going to go ahead and use the polygon tool. And basically, I'm just going to go in here and just kind of overlay polygons on top of the old letter. And it doesn't have to be perfect. I think close works. Also, um, if I'm going to hold down shift and click, that's going to start a new polygon. I'm going to try and keep everything as a quad. And um, that's going to help me out a lot. Also, you want to make sure this merge is selected here. So when you get near another polygon, it'll merge the vertices with the other one. Um, and again, shift click. And if you need to make any adjustments, you can always select the individual vertices and, and move them around as needed. Notice I made this uh, two different polygons here and here. You're always going to want to make it um, out of quads, and that's always going to make things easier for you. And basically, if this were one polygon, it would end up having one, two, three, four, five vertices. And we can't have that. You notice here I actually have two vertices, one here and one here. Um, I would actually have to create a separate uh, polygon in the middle if I wanted this little flat spot on top of the A, uh, which I could do. And you know what, I might. I might just do that. So I'm going to go ahead and join these. That'll work. That doesn't look terrible. All right, after you do that, make sure your action center is set to origin in this case. I'm going to select all the polygons, and I'm going to use the mirror tool to mirror it. Then in vertice mode, I will select in a clockwise order these four, these four vertices, and I'll press P on the keyboard, and that'll fill it in. So now what we have is a nice A made up of quads. And there's lots of things we can do with it at this point uh, because we made it like that. I'm going to go ahead and turn off the other mesh in the background since we already have our letter. And if I were doing multiple letters, I would do them all at once. Uh, each step I would do to every single letter, I wouldn't do each letter individually. Again, we're going to end up with the same problem. If I use the, the Edge Extend tool on this, you'll notice that even though all my geometry is there, all, all my quads, if I try and select all the edges and press P to fill it in, 
I'm left with the same thing that I started with. So that's no good. So here's how I get around that. I'm going to copy all the polygons in their place by pressing Control C. Um, then I'll use the bevel tool. And all the bevel tool is going to do is move those polygons out. And it actually, you see it moved them. They're not there anymore. However, in the clipboard, they are there. So by pressing Control V, you'll notice, you'll see that it just put those polygons in there, and you can't see them from the back because they're still facing forward. I'm going to press H to hide these in the foreground, and you see our old polygons. Now, if I double click them, you'll notice that it doesn't select any other polygons because they're not attached. So basically, all I do is select geometry. Um, and if there's other items in your scene, you might want to select the geometry and then say geometry, uh, vertex, merge, and keep the range on automatic and click on OK. And you'll notice that it merged 22 vertices, which is actually our copied polygons with the ones that we beveled out. So now, now that we have this, uh, we're in a much better shape to uh, toggle subdivision. If I turn subdivision on, you notice that it's not as terrible, but it gives us something to work with. And basically, um, all I would do from here, and a lot of you might be familiar with that, is use the loop slice tool. I would just select the polygons, uh, maybe starting with the edge, uh, loop slice it, and you notice it went all the way around. Uh, mode on symmetry, count on two, and I would just move this over to, depending on how uh, round you want your corners, about there. And then you'll notice if I toggle subdivision that it that entire corner, it tightened up. And you'll quickly know whether or not you've covered all your edges just by just by zooming out and pressing the tab key because any edge that isn't sharp is going to end up basically looking like that. So again, you would select those, loop slice, and see what that did to that. It made it nice and neat. Now you'll notice you see this rounded area right here. That's because this bottom loop actually doesn't have third line and you see that looks a lot better right there already okay after you've finished um, you should get a pretty good looking A like the one you see on the left there and I'm just going to compare that with an A that uh, comes right from the text tool and is beveled uh, just to see the differences on a render bevel this out here about the same amount this one's subdivided The other one is not. And in the render, you can clearly see that the A on the left is uh, looks a lot better than the one on the right. And it did take a little bit of time, but um, it's definitely worth it.